Welcome to Comics on a Pyre, a channel to have a meaningful conversation over movies, life, books, and shows, and maybe just a spot to spend time BSing over comics. If you like your entertainment with a bit of substance, then you, my vagabond friend, have come to the right tavern. Tether your horse by the post and come right on in and warm yourself by the fire. Tap that subscribe button, and for the next few minutes, my fellow George Carlin reprobate, lend me your ear. Every civilization has a genesis. A time long ago, forgotten even by its elders. A primordial period from which it all spawned forth from. And even then, in the land known as Felsbire, a long meandering towering staircase ascends into the sky. Its top landing, shrouded by the clouds. These black stairs, as they were called, were etched into the jagged mountains of Karkarak by unseen hands long before any man stepped foot on these peaks. But that was long ago. Eventually, the people of Cain Anun came to inhabit these mountains. In their folly, what they awoken was unkind and vicious, smiting its people infecting them with its perverted affliction, known as the Plague of Flowers, a rotten pestilence that inundated the body, meshing parasitic floral life with flesh. The outcome was a perversion of nature. Fallen brothers turned into the undead. The lucky ones, though, died on the battlefield their bodies strewn lifeless on the ground or impaled on thorn-riddled stakes. Their chain mail and reinforced brigandine ineffective in protecting them. In this time, all hope was lost. The light of man was waning, its darkest fears thriving. But even in this nebulous of despair was lit a spark of hope. A maniple of warriors banded together that ascended the obsidian staircase to confront these demonic fiends. Their fray has since turned into legend. Baikal Amon, the ferryman king, a holy assassin. Skull, a high mage from the guild of Erich. Jarun, the mighty. Hakun, known then as the peerless, though to everyone's chagrin, his name would change. Siam, mistress of beast and master of the bow. And lastly, Tyre, the god slayer, whose selfless acts proved triumphant that day. He alone stood in the precipice of the void and confronted Mo'otep, slaying the necromantic god, driving his double-headed axe deep into the heart of the demon showering himself with its blood. Because of this valiant action, Tyre exalted himself instantly to the level of king, and therefore bringing once again peace to the people of Tyre Galad. With commemorating games each year on that day, the people thronged the Colosseum in honor of Tyre. And each year, the burden that the king secretly, secretly harbors comes closer and closer to the surface. There, in his chest, it gestates, devouring his host from the inside, biding its time until the moment is right to come once again into the world of man. Welcome, comic heads, to another episode of Comics on a Pyre. Today, I will be talking about, that's right, DC's Black Label, The Last God Book, Book One of Fellspire Chronicles. This is a fantasy comic that borrows heavily from many sources, and I simply love it. You get themes from Lord of the Rings with Mo'atep feeling like Sauron. By being the dark and powerful overlord coming to devour all of humanity. There's ideas taken from Roman history with commemorating games being reenacted on the sand floors of the Colosseum. There's even a reference, if you are astute enough about Roman history, concerning the Rudus or Rudus which was a covetous wooden sword given 
from the emperor to a slave whose prowess in the arena was simply exemplary, normally by surviving a record number of appearances. This book even made me think of Conan the Sumerian, when Tyre slew the beast and therefore lay claim to his own kingdom. The first issue of Last Gods does a debuting series right. It lays down the past lore while planting ideas of things to come. It has dire circumstances, hidden secrets, and acts that play out behind the scenes, which all leads up to a compelling read. If you love high fantasy laced with a bit of subterfuge, then you, my friend, are in the right place. I myself will most likely read the next installment to see just exactly how this story unfolds. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, check out my comic book based YouTube channel, Comics on the Pyre, for other videos like this one. Tap on that bell icon before you go. And oh yes, as always, until next time, keep reading my friends.